Namaste, beloveds. I wanted to open up with the topic of forgiveness today. So many of us are still in extended lockdown and there's a great healing power in forgiveness. And I really learned this in my own process of healing where I healed from a basketball sized tumor in only six and a half weeks time. And part of my healing process lay in uncovering cell memories that I had repressed and that were stored inside my body and going through a deep process of releasing that stored pain, that stored consciousness, the unspoken words, and ultimately coming to a place of genuine heartfelt forgiveness and something profound happened to me during that time. All along, I'd had a story of childhood violent abuse. And of course, as an, a therapist in life, I'd done countless therapy on this childhood abuse issue. But at the age of 39 years old, unexpectedly, I got diagnosed with this massive tumor. And I realized I was being called to go beyond any of the complementary and integrative medical you know, processes that were available at that time. And part of the gift of my own healing journey is I found a way for all of us to go on a journey inside of our bodies and get access to old blocked cells. And what science has found is that when you feel a strong emotion and you repress it, it releases a quantifiable biochemistry in your bloodstream, which will go to certain cell receptors, block them, rendering those cells incapable of communicating with the rest of the cells in the body. And if over time illness happens, well, uh, naturally it happens where the cells are blocked. And conversely, what also is known to be true is that when we feel our emotions very openly and freely, like a child does, our cell receptors remain open. And so with the gift of the journey process that just uh, was pretty much a download from Grace during my process of healing was I found a method for all of us to go inside our bodies and get to these cellular locations where our cells are blocked to release that stored pain there, to let go the unspoken words, to come to understanding. But the key for me was not just coming to understanding and acceptance of what had happened to me in life. The key for me was forgiveness. Because when I wholeheartedly forgave, it's like I somehow let go of this whole story of pain. And so when my new cells were born, they were born devoid of that old consciousness devoid of that old programming. They were born as new regenerative cells. And so forgiveness is paramount in every spiritual tradition on our planet today. And it is a tremendous healing power on its own. But I found there's a big difference between just speaking words of forgiveness and really meaning them. Genuinely open your heart and offer unconditional forgiveness. Now, in my own case, because I had experienced, uh, you know, growing up, brutal domestic violence in our household and abuse. And I thought I had done so much work on it. I'd done, you know, eight years of therapy in New York City to work on this issue. And I felt that I had come to a place of acceptance, even compassion for what had taken place with me. But what I had not done is I had not dealt with the actual cell memories. I had not released yet the consciousness that was there. And there's a big quantum leap between accepting what's happened to you in your life and actually letting that whole baggage go and wholeheartedly forgiving. And when I was doing that first journey process, and I went through a process yet again 
of releasing all the pain of that childhood abuse, I came to a place of acceptance in myself that I had felt in most of my adult life. And I asked the peace that was there in the room, am I complete? And the simple word arose, no. And I was plunged into a deep despair and I thought, I don't even know how to complete with this issue. I don't even know what questions to ask. I don't need what, even know what answers to seek. I don't know how to complete with this issue that's stored in my cells. And something inside of me just let go in this despair. And I fell into a black, empty nothingness. And as I surrendered in that, the whole room was flooded with presence, with light, with peace. And a new prayer arose how to complete. I actually didn't expect an answer. But when the answer came, it came in the form of the word forgiveness. And immediately my thinking mind thought, what kind of difference could forgiveness possibly make? I already knew all about this. I've done years and years of work on this issue. Been there, done there, gotten a t-shirt on this old issue of childhood abuse. And my mind was saying that. But my heart was saying, well, you can't afford not to forgive. And so I opened my heart and it hurt to offer forgiveness. Because you see, I'd created this whole identity of Brandon, the noble, kind, compassionate therapist who'd come to understand and accept her violent past. And I had to step down off my own self-made pedestal and face down 30 years of pride. It was stuck as compassion and acceptance. And it hurt to face down that much pride. But eventually, I did wholeheartedly open my heart. And I wholeheartedly forgave. And it was while I was forgiving that I realized that tumor, it, it had never been clinging to me. I'd been clinging to it. And 30 years of a blame game, oh, dressed up as compassion and acceptance and understanding and forgiveness. The 30 years of a blame game was finally over. And that somehow through forgiveness, I'd finally, finally let go of my story of me and my pain. And for those of you that have read the book or undergone journey work, you'll know that I ended up several weeks later in Cedar sinai Hospital having done three other journey processes. Each one of them had to deal with both this violent abuse and also with forgiveness. And my stomach got flatter and flatter and flatter during that time. And I went to hospital and had all the scans done and I was pronounced textbook perfect clean, completely tumor free. And so there, it has a huge biochemical effect on your body. It's a great mystery what the healing power of forgiveness is that it has to heal yourself, to heal your life, to heal your relationships with yourself, with your loved ones, with family, and with your relationship to the divine. And so during lockdown, many of us are finding that we're stressed out, that we're finding that we're getting triggered. We feel trapped. We feel that we're with our loved ones, these buried cell memories, 
that we repressed when we were younger. They're inside. We're getting triggered. They're coming up. All the anger's coming up. The fear's coming up. The stress is coming out. Is getting projected all over our loved ones. And so I'm inviting you to undergo a process, a closed-eyed process that I'm going to give you right now to really go through a process of releasing the pain, releasing the blame, releasing the stored consciousness, the unspoken words, and coming to a place of understanding and ultimately forgiveness so that the body and the being can heal, so that you can find yourself in a place of peace right now with your loved ones, with life, with God, with each other. It is so important during this time where stress is turned up off the Richter scale that we do this work to not only forgive others, but to figure, forgive ourselves. And I really, really want to recommend not only that you do this process right now, or when you get a free moment free, but that you get on the Journey website. There on the journey.com, we are al allowing people to download my first very best-selling book, The Journey, and to download it. And you can also download the latest news process. And additionally, on that website, there are other processes you can do. There's a landing page, actually, for this. I've already, just during lockdown, recorded 30 videos like this, where you're getting not only in-depth teaching, but practical down-to-earth process work to heal yourself, to liberate yourself, to come to a place of feeling at all home in your own skin. And so I recommend you go to the landing page and you do work with yourself every day. And also you go to our website. There are courses there that you can go on to really, in a very deep immersion, liberate your life. And you can uh, also have free of charge uh, videos and audio programs. And there's a huge body of support there. I feel you are worth it. For goodness sake, life has made an invitation to all of us to use this time wisely and well. And so if it is, you do have the chance, I'm shortly going to be going into our closed eye process. But in any case, get onto our website, get onto our landing page, start doing this work on a daily basis. We have yoga videos, movement videos, nutritional videos, meeting your worst fears and clearing your, your grief. I mean, every imaginable issue that you could need to face and clear is available to you right now for free while we're in lockdown. So please invest in yourself. You deserve it. Namaste. So... We're going to go into the forgiveness process right now. And for this process, you'll be doing some of it out loud. So it's important that you find yourself a space where you feel private, where you can feel free to empty out words out loud. What I found with the journey process is if you just say the words inside your head, they stay inside your head and in your body. But something quite wondrous happens when you really open up your heart and empty out out loud. The words hit your ears at the same time as they're coming out and you become aware of what you were really feeling at the time and what the unspoken words were. So please find a, a space where you feel comfortable, be totally private and sit somewhere comfortable where you can close your eyes now that you've found a comfortable position, when you're ready, you can close your eyes and let your heart be as wide 
as the world. Wide enough to include all of what you need to forgive in your life. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others, forgiveness of life itself, of God. So forgiveness on all levels of being are welcomed into this vast open sky of all acceptance. And into this open sky, imagining now a campfire. And at this campfire is a younger you. It can be any exact age or age range where a period in your life where something happened that you've not forgiven. So it can be any age or age range, a younger you. Also at this campfire is the present day you that's undergoing this meditation. Also at this fire are other people or a person who you need or feel you need to either forgive or release the story from or let go of. And also include a mentor whose divine wisdom you trust. It can be a sage, a saint, an enlightened master, uh, an angel, something born of your own imagination, but someone in whose divine wisdom you trust and in whose presence you feel safe. So you're all gathered here at this campfire, which is made up of unconditional love. And it's time now to give the younger you a voice and to really let the younger you open up and get off their chest and out of their cells the words that they never got a chance to say to this other person, the feelings that they never admitted to feeling, all that's unspoken and unfelt and has been buried deep within you. It is all welcome to come out now. But first we give the younger you this opportunity, this invitation just to open wide. And if the younger you had something to say to this other person who you feel has done something that you need to be forgiving or letting go of, or perhaps maybe you've done something to this other person where you feel you need to be forgiven. And so just with a heart full of innocence, give that younger you a voice and let that younger you open up and just speak out the words that they've never got a chance to say to this other person. So on the count of three, just speaking it out loud into your room, one, two, three, as if that person is sitting right there with you and you're finally opening up and sharing. What were you feeling at the time? Just speak that out. What are the words that you were too afraid to express? That you were holding back? Just speak it out. What kind of impact did this incident that took place between the two of you have on your life? Just speak that out as if you're scraping the bottom of the barrel and letting the younger you finally have a voice to get it all off their chest and out of their cells. Keep emptying out.
What were you afraid to tell them at the time? How did their actions and words impact you at the time? The younger you just empty out. And now, if that other person could really drink in your words, knowing that they were probably doing the best they could with the internal emotional resources they had at the time, that if they could really let your words and your feelings bypass their ego and go in someplace deeper than their outer personality, and if they were to respond to you from that deeper place to what you've just said, give them a voice and you speak the words that they never got a chance to say on their behalf. Let them respond. So on the count of three, letting them respond to what you just said. One, two, three. What were they feeling at the time? What were they going through at the time? And from their heart, from their deeper place, how did they really feel about what they said and did? And if you could really drink in those words and let the younger you really let them bypass any defense that you have, but really drink in those words. And if you could respond from that deeper place inside of you, what would you respond to this other person? How did the words that they've just said make you feel? And how do they respond to that? Give them a voice. Just keep emptying out both directions until both of you are genuinely empty. Now I'd like you to try a little experiment here and have the younger you step into the body of that other person at that time and just check in themselves how were they feeling about themselves at that time and speak out loud what they were feeling at that time. How did they feel about their life? Or 
open even deeper with that, at the deeper part of their being, how were they really feeling about themselves, about their life, about their actions, from that deeper place, how were they really feeling? And now step inside their heart into the part of them that they might not have had access to at that time because they were so stressed out by whatever they were going through at that time. But the same love, the same light exists in all of us. So step inside the best part of them. In the part of them where the love is, the light is, where their soul is. The part of them that they probably didn't have access to at that time because they didn't have the resources. They were going through something else emotionally. And when you step inside their heart of hearts into the best part of them, look out through their eyes at the younger you and from their deepest heart, from their soul, how were they really feeling about you at that time? Not from their personality, but from this deepest place in them. How were they really feeling? Give them a voice and let them speak. And now step outside their body and open the chest of the younger you and let a lifetime of the love that they could never share with you because they were in too much stress. They were going through something in their life. And so just open the chest of the younger you and let a lifetime of the love that they felt for you that they couldn't get access to but nonetheless was there pour into your own cells. Just let it pour into your own cells. And while that is happening, ask them if they had anything to say about this entire conversation. What might they say to you at this time? And really drink those words in. Give them a voice. I'm sure they, there are regrets there. There's hurt there. And there's love there. Let them have a voice and finally express how they really felt about you at the time from the heart of hearts. And if you could respond to that, just give a voice to the younger you and let the younger you just speak out loud whatever the response is to that. And now I'd like to ask the mentor, does the mentor have any words to say about this entire conversation? The mentor may or may not, but go ahead and give the mentor a voice. And now I'd like to speak to the present day you present day you that's sitting here undergoing this process has been listening to this whole conversation, this misunderstanding that whatever words were expressed and not expressed at the time, that there was a deeper truth that was actually going on as well. And the present day you has listened to all of that. And if you could be given a voice and had any final words you need to say to this other person, This is your opportunity to get it off your chest and out of your cells. So just speak it out loud into the room to this other person and let your words penetrate. Go someplace deeper inside of them. One, two, three, speaking out loud.
And if they could really hear these words and let them penetrate beyond the external ego and personality to that deeper place, if they could really take in your words and your pain, and they could respond, what would they respond from that deeper place? On the count of three, just giving them a voice and speaking on their behalf. One, two, three. And now keep emptying out, saying what you need to respond from that deeper place, what they need to respond, until both of you are fully emptied out. And if the mentor had any final words to say about this conversation or the younger you had any words or the present day you or this other person, go ahead and give a voice for whatever needs to come out between the three of you or the four of you so that you feel completely emptied out. Now I'd like to speak to the younger you and just ask a question. Even though you may not condone their behavior at the time and you may find their behavior to have been absolutely unacceptable. And even though we say no to that unacceptable behavior and we don't condone it, I'm asking, would you be willing to forgive the soul of this other person. And if so, speak out loud to them words of forgiveness from your heart to theirs. And then if you need to be forgiven for anything, open your own heart and let them speak out loud words of forgiveness to you. Now I'd like to speak to the present day you. And even though the present day you may not condone any of the behavior at that time, you may not have found it acceptable even though you don't condone the behavior, I'd like to ask the present day you if you would be willing to wholeheartedly <clears throat> to forgive with all your heart. Let that happen. And if they could respond and they could forgive you for anything that you need to be forgiven for, go ahead and open your own heart and let their forgiveness in. And then make a prayer for them that they can somehow forgive themselves. Make that prayer for them. And letting them merge now into the light with all your forgiveness. You having forgiven them and they having forgiven you. 
And now there's just the mentor, the present day you and the younger you at the campfire. And saying to the younger you, I am so, so sorry you went through that previous pain. I promise you will never have to go through that previous pain again. Because from now on, I will love you and I will protect you. And you can have access to this internal wisdom anytime you like. All love is here. All wisdom is here. And I forgive you for whatever you feel you need to be forgiven for. And please forgive me for what I need to be forgiven for. And just open both of your chests and receive and drink in that forgiveness. And then hugging the younger you right now, letting the younger you merge inside you, growing up now with all this internal forgiveness, this love, this wisdom as a new consciousness in the present day you, growing up in this new consciousness of forgiveness and understanding. And if the mentor has any final words the mentor would like to make about anything on any level, let that be spoken now. And the two of you can just merge into the love, into the light. And the awareness is vast and spacious, free and endless in front of you. It's boundlessly free and endless behind and infinitely free to all sides. Boundless below and sky like above, and just resting here as a vast open sky of all acceptance, all forgiveness, all peace. Take a nice deep breath in, letting it out, and another nice deep breath in, letting it out, and you can open your eyes now when you're ready into this ocean of forgiveness. Taking another nice deep breath in, letting it out, opening the eyes now. Now this is a process you should feel you can do with anyone in your life. Even if your gripe is with life itself, God itself, or even if it's yourself that you haven't forgiven. This process of emptying out all the pain and the unspoken words and coming to understanding, ultimately forgiveness, can really heal every area of your life. You'll be amazed the effect that this will have on you, neurologically speaking, biochemically speaking, physically, mentally, emotionally, on all levels of being. 
And it's something that you can practice on a daily basis. You could, every night, if you wished, to go to bed, just do the short campfire and completely fall asleep in the arms of forgiveness. You'll sleep the sleep of the gods. A heartfelt namaste.